Certainly seems to have made an improvement to the uh, size of the wood cries. Look at that. I can almost put that over the top of that. Really healthy. So my suggestion is uh, start looking at charcoal. Or just ash and charcoal, I suppose, in, in general, and how do they affect carnivorous plants? How do they boost the growth of carnivorous plants? I mean, yeah, it looks like there's been some uh, nice improvement. I've got some evidence on video, VHS from 2003, of uh, another area in the uh, in this sort of back park of Onkabringa River National Park and the size that the Whittigrys were then after the, uh, the then current bushfire in that area and they were um, remarkably bigger and more robust and healthy so there may be a connection there then we get into this sort of sandy looking soil so maybe you want to try rubbing a bit of charcoal into your sand or something see if that helps to improve your, your plants but the main thing is to find out why it does so you know if you can find out why then you can you maximise the effect, you know, find the optimum ratio if you know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Good one there. About this one. Not quite as big, but still. Uh, that's not a lens cap, this is a uh, wide angle lens cap, so it's bigger than the normal 50mm lens cap. So just, just thought I might mention that, <laughs> in case you were wondering. Now we could walk all the way down there, I might just uh, turn the camera off and try and walk down there and see what, what's down there. There's a, there's a riverbed or creek bed down there, we're going to have a look.